Hey everybody, how are you? Good morning. Uh, today's story is a very short story, but it's a really good one. And you can find it in Mark chapter 3, verses 1 through 5. If you open your Bibles and read all those five verses, it's going to give you the story. But I am going to uh, tell you about it. See, the story is about a, a man with a withered hand. It's like a bad hand. So just to show you how hard this man's life was. Can you imagine doing life with just one hand? Tying your shoes, opening doors, homework, showering, packing lunch, eating. I mean, with just one hand. So to demonstrate how difficult it could really be, I am wearing a glove in my right hand and I am just going to not use it while I try and tell you the story. So I'm gonna put it against my shoulder and I'm just gonna try and do everything with my left hand. I have here, um, I'm gonna move the camera. Again, I'm not using the other hand, okay? I'm not using the right hand. And I'm gonna try and pour me some coffee in this mug. Okay, I'm not left-handed, so. Hmm. Well, that was challenging, but it wasn't that difficult. I was still able to do it. I'm wearing my hair up right now. Do you see? It's got a little bun. I don't think I can do that with just one hand. It, my hair would look really, 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 really bad, really messy. I can carry my Bible and I can open it to the scripture, but it's kind of taking me a while, right? So I can imagine that this man, just so you can have an idea how difficult his life was, but he was in the temple along with Jesus and all those ugly, the, the Pharisees, those people that just spoke ugly things about Jesus. And they were so, so mean to him. And they always wanted to find something to point out because they really wanted him dead. Now, the Bible says that Jesus saw this man at the temple and he wanted to heal him. And I'm guessing this man went to hear Jesus speak. But I'm also thinking that he was there because he had heard that Jesus can heal. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. And the Bible says that Jesus asked him to stand in front of everyone. Just go stand in front of everyone. Because I am going, I can imagine Jesus in his head, I'm going to perform this miracle for this man who really needs it. Once he stood in front of everyone, the Pharisees were like, oh, you're really going to do this? Like, you're really going to go for it on, on, on the Sabbath? And Jesus said, of course I would. I mean, if you had a sheep and it fell in a pit, would you just leave the sheep, sheep there even though it is the Sabbath? I mean, it implies you having to climb in, taking the sheep out, and um, that's your working. Would you leave that sheep or would you just help it? And Jesus said, this man here with the withered hand, he's more important to me than a sheep. And Jesus immediately healed his hand. And the Bible says that when he did, his hand was working. And just as good as the other, just a normal, normal person. He did that in the eyes of so many people. I love what Jesus would do. So many wonders, so many stories, so many miracles to find in this book. My challenge for you today is to know, to remember always that Jesus will pull through for you no matter what. Doesn't matter the day, doesn't matter the circumstance, doesn't matter the illness. Jesus will always be moved in coming to our rescue. Isn't that just amazing to know? We love you and we hope that you're enjoying these countdowns and we will see you tomorrow uh, before our big, big miracle on Sunday. We love you guys. Bye-bye.